slice of doodles. Yum! Hey everyone, uh, welcome to a new episode of Slice of Doodles. I know it's been a long time coming and I have to thank my friend Stephanie though because if it wasn't for her coming down to visit me, I wouldn't have been able to start this series back up so soon. So thanks Steph. So when she came down, I took her out to Breakfast Republic. Um, so there's actually four different locations here in San Diego. And initially I wanted to take her to the one in Hillcrest because that's the more hipster spot. But I thought about it and I just knew since it was a Saturday, parking was gonna be a pain in the butt. So I decided to just bring her to the one in Liberty Station because from experience, parking over there is a breeze. Um, we arrived there, I would say, maybe before 11, like 10.30ish. We found parking right away, and that's the pro, I would have to say. Um, but when we walked up to the restaurant, it was so packed, and you know, it was to be expected. The wait for us was about 45 minutes or so, and I would have to say that the downside to this location is that it's not too far from the airport, so you literally hear airplanes flying overhead every few minutes so it was quite hard to listen and hear to see if they were calling our names or not um so i think in that situation i wish they had one of those buzzers so you know they won't have to yell our names now first off the interior it's really hip and colorful and i really liked the pop of yellow in the chairs and they had a few of the walls that were this nice like brick red color and they had plants everywhere especially surrounding the bar and I just really liked the industrial feel to this place I really liked the light fixtures above um, they're like made out of whisks that were hanging and I really thought that was really cool and I just really liked the vibe and I really liked their egg salt and pepper shakers. They're so cute. So I ended up getting their San Diego Benedict. And if you guys know me really well, whenever I go out for brunch, eggs Benedict is my go-to wherever I go. I just love the poached egg and the hollandaise sauce. Um, this one had turkey, avocado, and cilantro. And of course they had like their house potatoes and I really liked it. Um, I never had an Eggs Benedict with cilantro on it so it had this really nice um, flavor and kick to it. And the eggs were poached nicely which is always a plus. And their house potatoes were good. Um, I liked the crispiness on the outside and it was softer in the inside. So I would definitely go back. I saw a lot of people order their pancakes and like French toast and it just looks so good. Um, so yeah, I would definitely try those in the future. I would probably go to a different location though because even though the parking was a breeze, I just didn't like the fact that it was noisy. Like I mentioned earlier, there were airplanes flying overhead and it was just so loud. Every time it would fly by, it would be kind of annoying because Stephanie and I would be like in a deep conversation and all of a sudden the airplane just interrupts us. So that's the only downside. But overall, my experience is really good and I enjoyed the food. All right, time to draw. So, I decided to just kind of talk about my process with my illustrations, which I didn't do in my last Slice of Doodles before. Um, so I guess you can say this is like a season two of Slice of Doodles because I have changed a few things, like my format. For those of you who have been watching this series, you guys noticed that I changed my sketchbook. Because the first one I made myself, I just used some of my favorite um, 
watercolor paper. I think I used the Arsh hot pressed watercolor paper and then I just binded it myself. But the only problem with that one was that it didn't lay flat and I was having a hard time drawing and I just didn't like how it, you know, the pages opened up. So I decided to just buy a new sketchbook, which is my all time favorite sketchbook by Stillman and Byrne. It's their Zeta series. And I'm so glad that they came out with this pocket sized one. And I love it so much. And I have talked about it a lot in my videos. And my favorite thing about it is definitely the paper, of course. And also, it lays flat. Every page you turn, it lays flat. It's like the best thing ever. So I highly recommend the sketchbook. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm going to point it out anyway because I just kind of want to talk about the process and my frustration throughout filming this speed drawing video. Um, but I did mention it in my Instagram post not too long ago about my first attempt at filming this because you guys know that I've been going through this art block and I haven't filmed a speed drawing video in forever so setting everything up was a pain and I kind of forgot how I set everything up um, and plus I have a different desk from what I used before so it was just really frustrating so I filmed the first couple clips at night it was like before midnight and i was tired and it was just not fun i was trying to film on two different cameras when hello i should have known that i just cannot concentrate and i just cannot do more than two things at once so i was just doing this to myself so i was just so frustrated that I literally cried like it got to that point then I told myself you know what okay I just let me just stop recording and I'll just resume tomorrow so I woke up the next morning I got up like before 8 o'clock in the morning and I moved my desk to the window so I had to just work with natural lighting which honestly I think is much better I thought I was gonna have a problem with it um, because before I for the longest time I've been using my studio lights. Now I think I should really just try and film early in the morning because natural lighting is free and I don't have to worry about moving, you know, my studio lights, you know, around, which can be a pain sometimes. So yeah, that's the process. That's why the video is kind of weird in the first in the beginning. Um so now I know. Note to self, film in the morning. <laughs> So the first part, I did start working with my watercolor, but I realized lately I haven't been really into working with my watercolor. I don't know what it is. Maybe I just don't have the patience anymore. So when I started filming in the morning again, I decided to just work with my gouache. Um, now I'm not a professional. I gotta stress this a lot because I really am not professional when it comes to gouache. I'm still learning. I just I just started using it last year so um, but yeah I really enjoy it so far and I have found a technique that I think works best for me um, and I find that working with gouache has been much easier and faster which is kind of funny because at, in, the, in the beginning it was really tricky because I had to figure out how to you know work with it but I like gouache because it's like an in-between of watercolor and acrylic. And if you guys don't know this, I have been using acrylic for many years now, since my whole college years. Um, so acrylic was the first thing I've ever used before watercolor. So I like that in-between. Um, I love that gouache dries quickly and it dries matte. And I've gotten used to working with it lately. So I really like that it has really to reduce the time in my paintings now um, i find that because before when i 
would do my speed drawing videos and I would use my watercolor. I, I'm like on average, it would take me about maybe, I don't know, an hour and a half to mostly like on average two hours. So two hours max for filming. And I found that when I was working with gouache in the morning, it seemed to go by really quickly, like probably an hour or so. And now I'm not much of a perfectionist when it comes to my paintings. I'm trying to be less meticulous with the detailing and everything. I just noticed, I forgot to write down house potatoes, but who cares? You guys know those are potatoes. <laughs> but anyway, I think that's all I, I have to say right now. Um, I hope you enjoyed this new revamped slice of doodles. So this wasn't how I initially wanted to film my slice of doodles, but I've been changing things along the way. I hope you enjoy the time lapse though, because that's something new. That's something that I decided to do. I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!